All right, what up, everybody? Top to top. It's your boy, Jay, Super Saiyan Jaffe. Cool guy, JD, on the IG. Mom. I don't even know what you're touching. <laughs> what did he say last week? Mon A. Smith. <laughs> Mon A. Smith, yeah. I'm on Wardenowski. A.K.A. Uh, Mon, A.K.A. T-Bag. Come on, bro. That's that's before this thing. We don't even need to nah, put that in there. A.K.A. A, a new name every week. Nah, man. <laughs> that T-Bag shit was just a At a B.C. Right from there. Oz. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. But you know what, though, man? You know, I like opening the show with a little comic relief because, hey, Bills get a blowout, win behind it. All Patriots right. get a blowout with a lose behind it. That's crazy. Listen, the league topsy turvy this week. It's all right. The league is topsy turvy. Yo, man, the AFC East, besides us, I, I, I got this. This is my moment to rise to the occasion to let everybody know. The Bills are the only team in the AFC East that won this week. Right? Have a seat. You're trying to show off your jacket. I'm, I, I'm too nice for that, huh? <laughs> have a seat. You're trying to show off your jacket. <laughs> hey, hey, a nice jacket is a nice jacket is a nice jacket. You feel me? I don't got to show it off. It's right. cool. It speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but honestly, I will say before we started filming, man, it's just in, man. The Bills released Nate Peterman. Yeah, man. He had Time to go. To go. Yeah. Time to go, it's brother. Long, long time coming. Like... To be honest, I still don't know why it took this long, but I damn know. it, <laughs> we on one. Yo, his Madden overall got to be like a negative 12. <laughs> <laughs> that I, nigga. Oh, no, he's not in the game. I'm sorry, violators. But uh, Peterman, he probably didn't even make the practice. Still haven't learned. Listen. That sometime, tea bag. Some, some, come on, come on. You're going to have to edit that I, out, Jay. I, I will say one thing, bro. You walked into that, you mm-hmm. got to own that now. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying it, it, it look. I just made wanted to make sure my hat didn't like look like I, was, I just got a gel holding somebody's pocket. That's how I had to make sure. <laughs> but you holding somebody's pocket though. <laughs> I mean, I mean we, 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 it's cool. We both on that hat wave. So right, it's, right, right, it's, right, it's all right. But listen, on violators, man. I'm gonna just dive right into this, man. Bills one forty one ten. What more can you say? They going Matt, three and thirteen, by the way. Huh? They going three and thirteen. Uh, no, nah, I don't know. They, 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 the Jets, the way the Jets is looking, you don't think the Bills can get that, another one out of the Jets? Home in Buffalo? Yeah, I think they can get another one out of the Jets. I think they can, too. Uh, even though the Jets' defense was lights out last week against the Dolphins, I nobody, nobody saw that coming. First play out the jump, mm-hmm. a, a 49-yard bomb right. to you Robert know, Foster. But you know what I saw, though? I saw that uh, McDermott said as soon as Josh Allen is able to start, he's going to start him. I don't know how I feel about that because at this point, rest is kid. I, yeah, I agree. Rest is kid. Now I was on I was on the wave in the beginning of the season where we was talking about mm-hmm. whether or not we should play him or just let him sit behind a reliable starter and learn. Mm-hmm. There's been no reliable starter behind this man. I mean, this is four quarterbacks right now. We're talking right. four yes. quarterbacks. This goes to my conversation last week. What I said about the Bills organization, it's just a disgruntled mess, top, top, and top to bottom, bro. I mean, if you got four quarterbacks for your rookie quarterback, and we're not even week twelve yet, we just halfway through the season. And That's a little bit more than half. It's only you, six more games. Yeah, but you feel you feel my vibe though. So it just goes to show type of organization the Bills have, and the mess that, that the it incompetence. is. The incompetence. Yeah, because like and like I said. Pat Mahomes was in the perfect situation last year. It's not a wonder why he's doing what this is what what Andy Reid was able to do with his quarterback situation. This is like what should be in an encyclopedia. That, this mean, is how you, you should you, bring you, up your rookie QB. But, he's I mean, doing but, it all but the crazy thing is the man he just QB broke was, the he broke the Kansas City Chiefs franchise record for like the most touchdowns in a season. Mm-hmm. Like That's you true. do that your first year. I mean, you gotta think. Joe Montana played for the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, the, the Chiefs was in the, the super first. Yeah, because we talked about this earlier, but it was at the tail end of his career. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's still, it's still Joe Montana. That's the GOAT yeah. before the GOAT. I agree. I agree. You know what I mean? Like, the Kansas City Chiefs was the first team in the first Super Bowl. Big facts, big facts. But, man, Violators, I will say uh, – the happiness I feel, like I said, we don't get too many. We don't get too many of these moments right here. You got you got Robert Foster. He he catching three passes, four hundred and five yards. Eating. He was on a practice squad last week. Right. Hey man, this, <laughs> do you know how it go? Uh, rags to riches like story. You know that happens every day. The receiving core showed even Isaiah McKenzie. 
I bet y'all don't even know who that is. He was on the, Bro- the Broncos squad. Pra- I don't even know whether he was on the Broncos practice squad or the, just the, the overall roster last week. The man had 121 all-purpose yards. He had three carries for 32 yards, one reception for 14 yards. He had one kick return for 33 and four punt returns for 44, yes. 42. He was, he was eating. That's playmaking stats right that's there. Ball. Zay Jones finally showed up. It's not that he finally showed up, bro. He's just getting the ball. He fi- well, he's, you know what? You kind of right because yeah. all throughout the season he's been getting open. Yeah, yeah. he he's he put that work in the off season. Except he I mean, did. He been working bath sauce too, but bath sauce like whatever. Because the man had eleven. The man the man had eleven. He's a warrior for God. I told you that. <laughs> I'm a warrior. <laughs> the man had eleven <laughs> targets for eight receptions mm-hmm. for ninety three yards and the touchdown. Right. KB once again didn't show up. Get the yeah. man out of here. I told y'all that, though. I'm telling you, man. Right. Drew Root notice. I need a, I need some time. Drew Root notice. Put, hold on. Let me let me troll a little bit. Hey, Mo. Hey, hey Mo. Yeah, let me let me get my time before you want to troll it, though. Let me hey, get Mo. my time. <laughs> Violators. You know, How about those not? Falcons? <laughs> How about those Falcons? Yeah, uh, Baker put a uh, he, Baker put a whooping on. No, what he said, he is, he, is, he woke up feeling, feeling a little feel dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson album fall. I didn't, I, I, bro, I didn't see that. The Browns. You just need somebody to share the L with you this week. That's you just need somebody to share that. I mean, bro, like we still got more dubs than you do. I'm just saying, you, you hey, I'm hot L's and hot hey, L's, I'm, I'm just man. the man on the, uh, at the top right now. Lonely at the top right now. Yeah, it's all right, because you, yeah, you had a lot of right L's. Right it don't matter. We won. Y'all down. lost. We won. But, okay, because we got to, um, by the way, this episode going to be a little shorter. It's not going to be uh usual 55 minutes. But I will say, man, all in all, we finally were, was able to put together a solid performance. Shady finally got that 100-yard day. Ooh, yeah, he was on Yeah, cut on it. Yo, Shady. Yo, that um play where uh, I think it was Jamal Adams. Can't He crashed down soon as Shady got the uh, handoff. Spent, popped it up for another 28 yards. Yeah. Shady is that boy. He hasn't lost a step. The defense is only getting better. The defense is number one in total yards and number two in pass yards. But it goes to what I said last week, though. The Bills' defense always has been consistent for, like, the last past five years, bro. That's a fact. But I this I will say, Sean McDermott, I have my uh, criticism on the man, but he can put together a good defense. Yo, Sean McDermott looked like he got, like, hella guns <laughs> and <laughs> – he like a hunter? He looked like he got venison, <laughs> hella guns. He, he, he eat game meat. <laughs> <laughs> and drink nothing but Budweiser. <laughs> Budweiser for breakfast. He looked like he shot at Bass Pro Shops also. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the name? Um, Cabela's. Cabela's. Yeah. <laughs> he, got, he got the $200 Cabela boots when he go to practice. Yo, his flag is army fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, man. Honestly, I, I'm I'm going to give that man his respect. The, the, the game plan they put in. I mean, Deion Dawkins, the, the Smoney man. Snowman. Snow he, got a, he got a TD. He got in on it. Yeah, big facts. What I, what I said, if y'all can remember, Violators, go back early, to our earlier videos. I think it was week one, week two, and three. I've mm-hmm. been saying, start Wyatt Teller. I don't know why he's deactivated every week. What did Wyatt Teller do when he get in the game? Pancake blocks. Wyatt is that boy. He's the strongest lineman in the um, combine. My sister just met him. You were telling me that off, off screen a couple days ago. Yeah, she just met him. And I, I had to write her up. She had to get a verbal write up. <laughs> I'm like, we got a Bills podcast, and you ain't telling me you was meeting Bills. So she got a verbal write up. She ain't even plugging, huh? <laughs> she ain't even plugging, boy. That's nice. All right, but like I said, man, um, the Bills definitely uh, stepped up this week. We got a bye week, so they doubling back with the uh, Jaguars in Buffalo. So we're going to see how that game turned out because um, the Jags not what we thought they you know, were. We might have a chance against them. They Jags, are who man. we thought they were. Crowd them. <laughs> <laughs> crowd, crowd them. Crowd them. Crowd them. So, I, I, but like I said, oh, man. Sit up that table. Lonely at the top, Buffalo, 41-10. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to ride this wave. I'm going to ride this wave, and I'm going to let my man Julius say that, that abysmal. All right. Plus, All right. Well, listen. 10-34. Okay. Damn, we beat the Titans, too. Any given Sunday, man. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Listen, <laughs> at the end of the day, okay, we won six in a row. We was bound to lose eventually. I mean, honestly, I said it when we lost to the Lions. I felt it when we, I mean, just the losses that we took this year was just like it showed like our defense being weak. 
Stephon, Stephon Gilmore, in fact, he got cooked they got all afternoon by listen, Corey Davis. Listen, all afternoon. Corey Davis was balling. I mean, the man had 125 yards. I mean, Marcus Mariota, he's been like a bottom of the pack quarterback for a while. Marcus been having a season. Uh, he's dude. having a uh, season, but he only has seven touchdowns and five interceptions. So if you think that's having a season, that's – He's, he's bottom injured, of the pack. He's been I mean, but we, season. Well, we but can, he's still been playing more he's than injured, half the season. He's injured, but you you still you can't take. He those missed stats. like two games. I agree, but what I'm saying is you can't take those stats. He's having a good year. He's having a good year because Mike Bravel is a good coach. I mean, honestly, I look at so I he's look a at system quarterback. I think. I mean, but isn't everybody a system quarterback if you think about it? No. Think about no. every good quarterback now. Who isn't a system quarterback? A Rod's a system quarterback. A Rod. A Rod is different. Okay, A Rod has all of the natural God villain abilities to make a quarterback. If God came down and said, Give me a quarterback, he's going to give A Rod. AK, Messiah. But. He was the Antichrist last week. But he was the Antichrist. Yeah, 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 you I, just I be understand. up and off the <laughs> eggplant. He off the wagon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Um, honestly, and Tom Brady said it best, if I'm going to quote the quote. If A. Rod was in the Patriots system, he's a seven thousand yards every year. Yeah. Every quarterback is a system quarterback. I say the only quarterback that could honestly say that wasn't a system quarterback is Peyton Manning, because mm-hmm. he made the system. Yeah, mm-hmm. Peyton is he's that lone bright mind. But bro, I, I just gotta throw this in there. Why can't TB twelve figure out this wide receiver position? Listen, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Tom Brady don't look old until he tried to go get <laughs> Okay. Bruh, the man, the man caught it, took around, tripped over his feet. Listen, this, yo, listen, you gotta remember. Tom he's Brady. He's unathletic, bro. Tom Brady. He's unathletic. Tom bro. Brady. I mean, first of all, <laughs> this is a guy who has the worst 40 in NFL history. Okay. At least he caught chest. it this time. He all didn't right? catch it. He was able now, to catch t- it, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just saying, like, them legs gave out, like, hold on, bro, you 41. But I will say this. With that reception, Tom Brady is the oldest person in the NFL besides Jerry Rice. He just took Jerry Rice to, to get a reception. Your, get your pass, Come yeah. on now. Why yeah. this man got a, a reasonable, valuable stat for this old fart bag time, bro? But, Goat. I'm not. I will get Goat. You I was just. You was just riding. I, you I'm was just game. riding them last week. No, now, now you're not. I so, game. so, so you mean to tell me? You mean to tell He's me? Still an old fart bag when, goat, though. He can still be an old fart bag goat. All right. Big facts, all, though. Big facts. Yeah. But, yo, bro, what I want to know is the Patriots. Dude, the, the he was Patriots, about to get his shit off. He's mad at you that you cut him off because he's about to get his the, shit the, off. The, the, the Patriots face. definitely uh, dropped, the, dropped the ball on this one. But it, it comes to a point where. That's the number one scoring defense, bro. It is, they are. But, see, Bill Belichick, it, it's a rare occasion, but the man was out coached. At the, well, at toward the tail end of the game, you got Derrick Henry running in touchdowns out the Wildcat. I mean. The thing is, bro. Yo, where was the deep t- t- Tennessee, we was giving Tennessee props at the beginning of the year. Count Okay. Tennessee is no scrub. Mm-hmm. No. Tennessee is a playoff team. We beat We them. beat Tennessee in the playoffs. So if you want to talk about beating, we beat them too. Last year. But I'm just saying, this was the first time Tennessee has beat us since 02. Mm. All right. They still want to give. You got to get you, but you got to get a Titans. I'm just saying. Them, I, give, I give Titans their whole respect. Every dog has his day. And these games came to play. Deion Lewis was talking crap. You know what I mean? He's, that's what happens when you go cheap. And Tom was like, listen, if everybody, there's a lot of guys that's been in that position mm-hmm. that you can't pay everybody. Mm-hmm. Tom don't get paid big money. No, nah, but see, Tom, and that's why, like I said, the humility on that man. Tom Brady is a pro's pro. He is. Deion Lewis with that comment, it was hell yeah, it's personal. That's what happens when you, get, when you go cheap. You get your ass kicked. That's true. But... Yeah, I guess he's gonna he's gonna take that for face value. This was a team win. I'm on team, but the man had a terrible game. Well, as far as running the ball, yeah, I mean, twenty carries, fifty seven yards. That's what like two point mm-hmm. nine yards a carry. Yeah, it's not good. Derrick Henry is the, mean, he is that 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 uh but if you, that workhorse. But yeah. if you break this down, Tom Brady hasn't had a good three games when it comes to passing. He's only had one touch TD in the last three games. I mean. And the thing that's been keeping us at bay when we start turning everything around is our running game. Mm -hmm. Like, our running game has been keeping us going. With Sonny Michelle just coming off of that injury, you know what I mean? James White was missing. Friggin' Flash Gordon had a dislocated finger. Mm -hmm. So, he had a good game. He had a good game. Uh, uh, This is all right. He had 12 targets for receptions. 
That's under half. That's under fifty. Yeah. I mean, but he but he had eighty one yards as well. I mean, that's that's big catches on the four. Mm-hmm. That's making what you got. But I'm just saying, it would if what if he would have got at least six. Okay. Maybe, maybe maybe two more receptions. receptions. That could have yeah, been a hundred. Easily, yeah, I was gonna say easily put up an extra twenty five like Tom, Tom, yards. Tom, like as Giselle once said, he can't throw. Oh, well, supermodels. You know, <laughs> pass fan. <laughs> pass fan. <laughs> Boston I, I fans. Right. I'm a pass fan. I, I'm a Lakers fan, so you really can't call me a Celtics fan. I, I don't follow baseball, but I always got a Yankees hat on, so I'm not a Red Sox fan. So you know what I mean. I'm just saying. We, we gotta let him get his shit off. He just told you. Yeah, exactly. no, we gotta You know, T bag. Listen. He's gotta let him get but, his shit off today. All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yo, but I, I, I will say, because our, our closing arguments of that past game. At the end of the day, yeah, I'm trolling my man, my guy a little bit. But because hey, I still owe you, man. You put I ain't like that Tom Brady gift you put in front of me on that IG story. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Why you you caught me in mid? I made you a praising goat. this man. <laughs> you got me all assed out. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, you put your ass out. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, as far as the state of the AFC East go, they obviously still sit at the top mm-hmm. of the mound. They seven and three. Yes, yeah, so us and the Jets tied at three and seven. But we are third in the division because we have that head to head. We one and one in the division. Right. Dolphins is five. Five and five, they falling apart. They didn't gave up because the Packers yeah. done put that work in. 31-12. Oh yeah, put that work in. Oh yeah, that was a uh, once again. Honestly, man, Brock Osweiler, what do we have in him? He's not. He, you know, he's not a franchise QB. Obviously, if I can get you over the hump, like yeah, a bridge dude. yeah, like yeah. like tier two, tier three. You know, definitely. Like that. But he ain't he ain't no Blake Bortles. <laughs> he ain't garbage. He ain't yeah, he's trash. Not garbage. He ain't he ain't what you say to Bot Smith right there. Yeah, he ain't no 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 no. Watch watch yourself. He ain't he ain't the juice but I said the bottom of a hefty bag that might be you that need to get cleaned up with the past loss though. Yo, yo, why you whispering? I'm not whispering, I'm just having okay, a all right, me, me and you was having a direct all conversation. Right, all right, we yeah, have I mean, it, but this is a violated sports, bro. You gotta speak up. Speak no, no, your no. mind. I mean we violated. Say it with your chest. Yeah. Say it with your chest out of BC. Chest is <laughs> <laughs> But you you, you 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 call Brock Osweiler two tier two, tier three. Nah, I say tier four, tier five. Hey, there's no tier yeah. five, but Brock Osweiler ain't nothing to me. I'm, some, I'm, about I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like you, you don't 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 come don't come at me when your team ain't doing what it is. Your quarterback gotta have a perfect game all day. All right, yo, 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 wide receiver that just eclipsed ten thousand yards. Youngest person to do that hasn't isn't scoring touchdowns. He's not scoring. Yo, running, which is surprising. Need, Julio's not scoring. Yeah, but you know we need some answers in that. Yo, defense. Yo, defense is sorry as Calvin Benjamin. Defense deep, but the defense never been there in no ATL. Defense is sorry. Never been there in ATL. Are and you that, serious? They was there when that Super Bowl run. They was look like the best defense before they ran uh, into us. Back half of the season, they were they definitely were trash. They definitely need some answers. All right, but they the looked season. it real good in the playoffs. Though. Matt, Matt had an MVP year that year, bro. Matt had an MVP year, yo. But who did y'all knock out? We it doesn't matter who we exactly. Knocked out, y'all knocked out some of the best players in the NFC. Okay, we knocked the, the knocked bacon in the NFC. Year, listen, the listen, NFC listen, is the West, right? Yeah, we know that. We know that. Okay, like, Matt then. had an MVP year that year. Julio, Julio. Why am I defending your two. team? It don't. You're not. <laughs> but I'm saying uh, we uh, have. Uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. Fellas, violators, fellas, brothers, listen. The Julius won Mojo. <laughs> okay, we we go we go we go brush all of that. <laughs> we go brush all of that. But I just I gotta say I gotta say because I'm sticking in the we sticking in the AFC East right now. We gonna go deep deep into the Falcons, and I want you to lead that charge next week, my brother. Mm-hmm. So ain't, ain't going nowhere because <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. All right, Saints run that division. Yeah. It's going through the Saints and the Rams. It's, it's definitely going. Oh, that is true. It didn't might go through L.A. 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 or New Orleans. Um, New Orleans. Well, see, you know what? That that begs that begs me to question. Uh, so we we midway through the season, mm-hmm. who who are Super Bowl picks? I said, you know what? I at the beginning at week one, I said Saints Patriots. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, the way our defense is playing, we. I mean. <laughs> I would hate to say it because I would die hard, but I'm just saying, like, we don't get our stuff together, we ain't going to be in there this year. Hmm. If we we got to – we got that that's something the, the Chiefs going to settle there? I'm just saying the Chiefs' defense ain't all there either. They are all right. That offense keep them afloat. But I'm just like the Chiefs, don't, they don't got no run game – or not not no run game. Hey, they don't I got no like, run defense. I'm about to let you have it. Hold on. Run I got, defense. I got a question for you, bro. So the Chiefs, 
do you think Mahomes is enough for Mahomes to take him over the top? Yeah. I definitely think so. I think so, too. I definitely yeah, okay. think so. I think they got all the weapons in the world. They arsenal is full. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, if it all comes down to it, an elite defense could slow them boys up, mm-hmm. that could cause them a problem. I'm just saying, us as Patriots, mm-hmm. we ain't got no elite defense right now. Right. So you like, don't, so you really don't you honest in your heart of hearts you don't see the Patriots in the boat shit unless the defense get it together. I'm saying. just saying after that loss that we just took to the Titans, we gonna have to play a road game. Right. And we went at home this year. I mean Gillette, but we haven't proven, won on the road. Mm-hmm. Right. But I that's just, a huge problem. Like dropping an L uh, to the Lions, uh-huh. the Jags, yeah. and the Titans. That's major. Because the Jags ain't been winning since they beat the Patriots. Mm-hmm. The F- Lions just got smacked. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But see, like, but see, that's something we could take. We could take to the papers because if we talking, if we talking state of the AFC, if we talking state of the AFC. So in the AFC North, obviously the Steelers is running that. It's they six two and one. The Steelers, the Steelers, and the Steelers is looking like Steelers. The Steelers is looking like Steelers, and I, I, I'm. But the thing is, the thing with the Steelers that you got to watch for is that the Steelers are they own Achilles' heel. You, man, I've been, you going to leave me hanging? I've been saying that for about two or three years now. Like the Steelers, the, like the Steelers, is they, they, they supposed to meet us at the dance every year. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. But they don't come to the dance. Them are the Ravens. The rate no. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the Ravens. The, Ra- the Ravens ain't, I mean, Harbaugh about to get fired at the end of the year. The, the Ravens didn't make the playoffs last year, did they? They no, didn't make the playoffs. No, no, yeah, no. They, no, they didn't make the playoffs. But Har- Harbaugh about to – he the winning this coach in Ravens history, and they about to part ways. Honestly, bro, I'm just looking at it the fa- – I'm looking at it – I'm looking at it for what it's worth. You saying unless the Patriots get that D together, it's going to be some problems. Like I said, AFC North, this it runs through the Steelers, obviously. Mm-hmm. The West – the West is it's a little bit it's a little tighter because the Chiefs is running it, but the Chargers this is back you could take it back to the Ladanian Tomlinson days. The Chargers always, always are on fire. The first half of the season, yeah, they start to fall off a little bit. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe maybe not the first half. I was what, how, you why know, not? Yeah, be, yeah I was because the, first half. the last few years they started the season off one and four. No, no, I'm, no, bro. That's why I said Ladanian Tomlinson. I'm talking about okay. back to his the Ladanian Tomlinson All days. Right. All right, let me before you go, bro. Let's like. When you want to talk about that, you want to bring a run. I feel like you can say LT, you're gonna bring a running game. It actually took a few years for the like the Chargers to find a running back. Melvin Melvin Gordon, Melvin Gordon, he literally had to take some time to develop find his NFL, find his NFL ways and everything like that. He's eating. He is having a really solid year. I don't know what stats offhand, but every time I see him, he's in a highlight. He's doing something. He killed the Bills when he played us. Mm-hmm. So the Chargers have like a legit running. Instead game. Of those receivers. Yeah, they have a legit yeah. running game, legit passing attack. I mean, Phil's been Phil. We always. Crown Phil, we're going to have to crown Phil, but to me, Phil is just not that player that's going to get you a Super Bowl. So what's, so what's going on with the AFC West then? You know, you know what the crazy thing is? I, I got to disagree <clears throat> with you because Phillip Rivers is very consistent. Phillip Rivers is so good. That yeah. you, like, Phillip Rivers make you forget that Drew Brees was actually the quarterback before him. No, I'm not. No, no okay, don't do not do that. I'm not I'm not disputing that. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I could agree with that. I, I agree with like, everything you're saying. If, when, you, when, you, when you think of Drew Brees, yeah. you think of Saints Drew Brees. Right. No, 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 no. All right, so let me ask you this question. I, dr- I drink. Let I me think ask of you San this question. Drew Brees. Let, me, let me ask you this question. Go ahead. You take out Antonio Gates. Mm-hmm. You take out LaDainian Thomas. Who was Drew Brees throwing to when he was with the Chargers? Who was the who was a big receiver? They had uh, Michael Floyd. Was that Michael Floyd over there? No, Michael Floyd wasn't there. Who was there? Who, you know what I'm talking about, right? The number. What was? I'm about to look him up right now. Nah, no Google. No, no Google. No, 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 I'm looking him up. I'm Keenan Ke- 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 Yes, him. Thank you. Him. Damn, I hear that name. It was it was him, bro. and it was somebody else though. I'm about to look him up right now. I'm about to look well, it, right does, now. it doesn't matter. All I'm saying is, but, but, all I'm saying is, you think of Drew Brees throwing touchdowns to Michael Colson. Let 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 Marcus Mo, let, let Moan look that up. While he looking that up, mm-hmm. we gonna finish trying to trying to pinpoint this AFC. So head to head, Chiefs Chargers. We giving that to the Chiefs all day. We, all day. You got to all day long. Got to. Uh, so what about that AFC South? Texans six and three. Titans. You saw what they just did to your squad. That's Vincent Jackson. I'm not even gonna say. Ooh, Vincent. Vincent yeah, 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 Vincent. Yeah, Vincent Jackson yeah, and Malcolm yeah. Floyd. Yeah. And Kasim Osgood. That's the receiving core I was talking about. Because mm-hmm. that year, they was 14 2. What t- year is that? 14 2 when Marty, Sh- they was with Marty Schoenheimer. What year? 06. That was Phillip Rivers. Yeah. 
I'm no, that was, that was Phil and uh, LT. That Drew. was a high. That was a high. No, no, no. Was, what, year Reggie, back, what, 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 what year did Reggie? What year did Reggie Bush? Said, oh, you trying to go back? Oh, that's early though. That's early 2000s. Okay, but that's still Philip Rivers, bro. I'm not disputing the fact that Phil's not a good quarterback. I'm but you think about Phil Rivers? I'm talking, I'm talking court. about playoff. I'm to no. I'm talking playoff time when it comes down crunch time when it comes down to it. Phil can't deliver. Phil, that, that is true. Phil's on notice. He can't deliver. But, see, but, that, that. I mean, but, but that's you, the point of me saying in the beginning of the season, the Chargers always look like that powerhouse, and then and toward the tail end, they fall off a little bit. Playoff time, they they not there. Because back in them LT days, they couldn't they couldn't buy a playoff win. But that's no, because Tom was there. But that's, Tom was in but, that's that. thing, but that's the thing though is that we always look at quarterbacks thinking that the quarterbacks is the whole fucking the whole freaking team. It's okay, get it off. Get like up. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like quarterbacks need defenses. They do. Mm-hmm. All right, but they didn't have a. They didn't Drew have Brees a. has a defense this year, so Drew Brees is shining this year. You saw how Drew Brees in the Saints look with the worst defense. Drew Brees had exactly. Now they, Drew Brees has the number one defense. That's so. So going back to seven and you, one. So going back to what you said, I I, I don't I, I honestly don't know how you when you think of Drew Brees you you think of San Diego Drew Brees. Oh, data Saints. Drew Brees is who he no. is because of that organ okay. because of the Saints organization. Let me, let me clear that up for y'all. I think of San Diego Drew Brees because I feel like San Drew Brees been doing this in San Diego. He just hasn't. He never got that recognition in San Diego like how we guys in uh, in New Orleans now. Because everybody thinks of New Orleans now when they think about Drew Brees. You have but, to, yeah, but obviously. But I'm saying he's been doing it since he's been in San Diego. They just didn't want to take that chance on when, when Drew Brees had that major injury. Okay, That's all it okay, is. okay, bro. So I, w- I will say this because mm-hmm. this, this is this is all perfect and I love it. Mm-hmm. But Steelers, Chiefs. Chargers, Texans, who poses the biggest threat? Because you got the Patriots is at that mountain in the AFC. Mm-hmm. Who poses the biggest threat in the AFC? Who's going to unseat the pay, the Pats? Chargers, you know Steelers, Chargers, or not the Chiefs? Chiefs, Chiefs defense is too inconsistent for me. I and I said we had that conversation earlier. Yeah, but Mahomes got to be a savior in this situation. I, Mahomes I think you just got to play how Mahomes I mean, is but if you look, yeah. if you look at that last game, at that, that Chiefs Patriots game, it came down to who had the ball last. Right, that, the Patriots won forty three forty. Right, right. I, I think the Chiefs, the Chiefs, and the Chiefs exposed that deep. Like I said, Stephon Gilmore, you said what I've been trying to tell you a lot this season. He's he's not a bad cornerback, but, but he's having a good year this year. He's having a good year, he but got he got exposed last got, game. But I've seen Stephon Gilmore get exposed tons of times. Yeah. When he you, you when you're attacking Stephon Gilmore just constantly sh- straight through the game, he's go, he he's gonna he's gonna get down on himself. His confidence level drops. Exactly, and I also seen Sh- Stephon Gilmore shut down Alshon Jeffries in the Super Bowl. I mean, Alshon. Alshon put up some numbers, though. Yeah. Alshon, when, when Stephon when got on him. When not guarded by Stephon. Right, right, yeah, I'll right, give right, you that. Right, right. I, I'll give you that, I guess. I'll give you that. So, all in all, Violators, I'm going to say, who I think going to the Super Bowl, Um, see, I see it firsthand, and I'm a, what I want y'all to know is I'm a realistic Bills fan. I'll never feed you bullshit. I'll never lie. You'd be bullshitting if you said the Bills going. Anyways, I will say my Super Bowl predictions, because I've seen the Patriots, outside of the Bills, I know the Patriots better than any team. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the Patriots and the Rams. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the Patriots and the Rams. What you saying? I'm sticking with Patriots and the Saints. I want to see it upset. The Rams going to get it. Like, they're going to be good for a few years. I don't know how long Breeze can keep it going. I don't know how long this team going to ball out the way it is. So I will, like I said at the beginning of the season, I want to see two goats go at it. And since Rodgers ain't gonna be there, we remember earlier in the season we asked. Uh, I think it was week one, our very first video, mm-hmm. where we were uh, back in the day when we had the uh, chairs. Man, the dark guys room. Yeah, I remember what we had said was. Uh, well, mm-hmm. I said the Rams was gonna be. Mm-hmm. A powerhouse, and I think you said they look good on paper. Yeah. They putting that paper together. Oh yeah, exactly. I'm putting, putting that, that paper right. together. Who they you got? Out. Who your Super Bowl picks? Rams and Rams and I really want to say Rams and Chiefs, but I'm probably gonna go Rams and Pats. I'm you know I'm Pats. I'm one A one B with the Pats and Chiefs, but the, just for the, just to put something out there, I'm gonna say Rams and Chiefs. Well, mm-hmm. you know what? You know maybe with some more. In, maybe I'm not asking the right question. Maybe it's more interesting as. Who's gonna be in the AFC Championship that's game? Mm. That's how Maybe I feel. That's how. Maybe that's more interesting because I'm gonna say Patriots, Patriots and Chiefs. And Chiefs. Yeah, I'm gonna say Patriots and Chiefs. I don't see I don't see this, the Steelers doing nothing with the Chiefs. The the Chargers, yeah, they a good story right now, but we know what the Chargers do mm-hmm. year in and year, well back in the day, year in and year out. This is just this, it's a new day and time, but we'll see. 
You know what? I, I definitely think that uh, sleeper team. I think the Titans could be a sleeper. Like, I'm just strong on defense. They got the number one scoring defense in the league. Like, if if Mariota could just pull it together, they run him and they could run higher. Corey Davis is looking like a star. I mean, when you take mm -hmm. a young, when you take a young uh, wide receiver in the early rounds, you know he's definitely showing that money. Big facts. That's right, yo. I will say, man, I feel terrible. I feel I feel violators. I'm gonna just say this. Back in the day, what ended my football career was a devastating Achilles injury. And uh, what's going on with my man Dez? Yo, Dez is going to sit it down. Like he's about to do a bit. Yo, like, it's, it's, it's all bad. All bad. He got he got a Megatron in his career. He's got to retire. I don't, while, we, while we can remember him. I mean, but Megatron didn't. His career didn't end over injury. That's it, it was on his, it. his own terms. Yeah. Like, the, the the thing is, when you get that, that Achilles injury, that, like that, that ended Kobe Bryant's career all in all actuality. Bro, if you remember back in the day when we was when we was kids playing football for Chito Aga Central, when I tore my Achilles that summer, bruh, like, I wasn't the same for about two years. You was you was never the same. Man, it, it, it did damage. And for this to happen to Dez the way it happened, yeah. he goes unsigned. But you see the they first signed Brandon Marshall, season. right? I did see yeah. that. I, I was going to bring that up. That's a good We're going to talk about – we're going we gonna to get to that. I just think it's, it, it's just – it comes to a point – it's like you can't question the man upstairs. You definitely can't do that. And I think Dez even alluded to something like that. But it's like you go unsigned the first half of the season. No one saw that coming. Mm -hmm. You finally get that opportunity to Saints. The last play of practice, you tear your Achilles – and in November, November, so he's not going to be ready next to open in the next year. He's not going to be ready for training camp. Yo, yeah. you, you, it's realistic to question retirement at this point. Yeah, yeah, That's he, realistic. Because he's, 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 he's not a, uh, <clears throat> he's not a, he's not a, he's not young. He's not number one no more. Nah, he's. He was already losing a step. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, that, he, oh, he said, lost, that step is gone. They, he said, he, they said he was fat when he came to training camp, too. Word. <laughs> yeah, they said lose like 10, 15 pounds. <laughs> oh, snap. My foot. Not really. What are you talking about? What are you yeah. talking about, T-Bag? Him. Yeah. Tell oh, <laughs> him. What about me? <laughs> he calling you fat. <laughs> oh, he calling me fat? <laughs> <laughs> he said you been eating good. <laughs> He got that relationship with <laughs> haters. I <or> hate. <laughs> <laughs> so what I will say, violators, man, is it, it, it was a re it was a really weird week of football. But uh, hey, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. The week is in the book. Pats lost. That's all I really care about. Pats did lose. <laughs> now, they got blown out, and we we had a blowout. We put on. I think I saw a stat that said we, we put up forty four points. We didn't even talk about Matt Barkley. Yeah, we need to be talking about. Him. He he just did. He, he, just, he Are you serious? Matt Barkley had the greatest showing since Jim yeah, Kelly yeah, as a had, starter. Yeah, the Jets had Matt Barkley looking like looking like Jim Kelly. They they, they look like the K gun offense out there. It's a problem in that just this is a problem in just locker room. No, Todd Bowles. It might be the time for Todd. I'm, I'm surprised I ain't got a notification that he's out yet. Yeah. But you know, I think you know this is that player's day off. He probably gone yeah. by the end of the week. Yeah, Sam. I think with that Sam Darnold situation, also they fed him. They fed him to the wolves too early. Like I, I said it. I'm on record for saying it. Like when he was at USC, he he was inconsistent there in his last year, and they were still striving for him to be the number one pick. As they as they do with most rookie quarterbacks, is is you got your gems, your Andrew, mm -hmm. your Andrew, your Andrew Lux. Oh, his line looking Yeah, Marcus Mariota's. Yo, did you see his guard as the first guard to get rookie of the year? No, uh, Quentin uh, Nelson. I mean, not rookie of the year, uh, rookie of the month. Quentin Nelson. Ooh, that man. I did see that. Cause they haven't had a sack in four games. I'm telling you, man, Wyatt Teller going to be on that same type of a wave. But Violators, man, that's our uh, take on our NFL side. You know we got to move into a little bit of basketball. It was some breaking news with that uh, that Jimmy Butler deal. What was what, what? Bro, who saw that coming? I mean, we saw you it coming, what? but to the – come on, man. You know, when you – Elaborate for me. When you when you got in a bunch of dysfunction, dysfunction in the locker room and like – Spit it out. And like – Get it out. Okay. You got it. <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> well, you got a bunch of – Clear your throat. You got a bunch of dysfunction in the locker room, uh -huh. man. Like people just can't get along, can't coexist, this. And you got that one dog, that alpha male that wants everybody and wants to gut out their players, but they just don't want to strive for greatness like everybody else. What can you do? You got to, if you got a problem in there, you got some, you got a cancerous tumor, 
Either way, if it's benign or cancerous, whatever those words, malignant or uh, benign. Just get it out. Yeah, I'm trying to get in my, I'm trying <laughs> to get my, get in my medical maybe, bag maybe right now. Take your little, time. Yeah, a little simpler, <laughs> simpler, simpler words. Yeah, I'm trying to get in my medical bag. But uh, When you can't get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get it off right now. All right, so. get, all right get it off. Thank you. Get it out. I'm just trying to say, you know, you got a Kansas tumor. You got to let him go. But with this trade, Jimmy Butler and the 76ers are top three in the East now. There's no question about that. Yeah, but, the Sixers looking real yeah. dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Now, they, they woke up this morning feeling dangerous. I mean, when you got Embiid playing like an, an MVP level. He mm-hmm. averaging like 27 points right now. Mm-hmm. When you got him playing at MVP level, you got friggin' Ben Simmons, who's just a dog. It's just, coming together. And now you get Jimmy Butler. Mm-hmm. I, listen, I've been a Jimmy Butler fan from the jump. Okay, like buzz there. when he was a defensive stopper, mm-hmm. and then when he got that three ball, when he had no hair, when he, yo, Jimmy the man, no hair. literally, <laughs> the, <laughs> no hair, Jimmy, the man, literally, Jimmy, no hair, <laughs> Jimmy, no hair, it's like a mom name. <laughs> the man literally just elevated his game like top player. I and mean, you know the thing I like about him, though, is he gonna hold all those young boys accountable, um, right? Mm-hmm. Like right. he gonna talk about Marsh, Mar, 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 faults. Pump fake and free throws. Like, he going to dog. Yeah, that was mad weird. I That's, saw that. That, that was, was mad, mad weird. weird. But I think with that, with Jimmy coming, I think it was another time for them. We were saying, telling the Markel folks, we go another direction with this big three situation we got here. Because, like, I mean. Well, I'm about to be the biggest bus ever. The, the biggest bus ever. And, like, with you coming with a broken jump shot, yo, yo, jump, shot looking, yo, yo jump shot looking like Chuck Hayes free throws out there. <laughs> like, I'll tell, tell you one thing. If if Lonzo Ball if jump shot look better than yours, you got a problem. Yeah, that's that's a big fact. That, 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 that's, that's, real, that's, that's real sick. But I feel like this with Jimmy coming there, this puts Ben Simmons on notice. Like, you, you got to get a jumper, bro. And on top of that, you're not going to be ball dominant no more. But you, you know the thing is that I say the only thing is getting rid of Covington got rid of a three point shoot. Not saying Jimmy can't hit him because he mm-hmm. is like a forty six percent shooter. Jimmy gonna give him line, to you mm-hmm. uh, from the three when he got to. Yeah. But the thing is, is that they're a team that needs to be able to space the floor. Mm-hmm. Bad spacing. That's just. I mean, basketball nowadays is all about spacing and ball movement. I mm-hmm. mean, the Warriors can change the game. Yeah. So with them boys, just I mean. If y'all play 2K, that's like having a team full of slashers and no jumpers. You know what but, I mean? But Jump see, shots. man. But see, but you know what? The NBA world is crazy. Just like the sports world, period, is insane. Right. Because you got an ideal situation for Jimmy to go to the Sixers, and they are not. They are powerhouse. Mm-hmm. They're. It's, I'm, it's, I'm real interested to see the dynamics of the squad. What's going on with your boy Melo? Because that's that. That's just a a complete opposite. Yeah, my man Mo had a Melo. Fat head in this room. Man, I still got, I still got him. Let's like Melo been my boy, but I think let's call a spade a spade. Bros washed, like, I, like bros washed, like he it's over with. So you did know, you, did you, did like, you, did you, did you just, see Stephen Jackson saying that they're trying to blackmail model? You know what? I seen it on YouTube. I didn't watch that. Watch so, that saying I, that he's the, they, they trying to make him the, the fall guy. Know, and I seen that they're trying to make yeah. Melo the fall guy, the scapegoat. But I don't think that's fair to Melo career. But for the accolades, of what he's been through. But the way you've looked the past three to four years, you can't honestly sit here and tell me that you're the same player that you once was. Like you not, you give me 13 points per game on like 37 percent shooting. Like you, do, really, you really just a spot up shooter. You can't get to the hole. You're not banging on nobody. You're not giving me no work. Like for your testament, bro, you not putting that two seven work in how how boys would do in high school. Like Melo's not eating the way he would. You not Nick's Melo. You you not Nick's in the prime Melo. You not different Nuggets Melo. You not giving me what I need to get. But and another thing too, I think with Chris Paul being there, I mean people's on record for saying Chris Paul's a bad teammate and stuff like that. But Melo and Chris Paul's boys like how how boys supposed to be tight. But. I mean, maybe Chris, maybe this whole situation in Houston is not working out. I mean, Melo just needed hoodie. This wasn't a good situation for him. He just needed hoodie. Hoodie Melo? He just needed hoodie. He got it on the bench. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> so, man, what's, what's good with uh, what's good with uh, Giannis and Ante? Um, well, Giannis, I think Giannis definitely might Dominant? Be. Is yeah. where he's he's more than dominant, bro. Like, yeah. like he's Wait, like, Greek freak fucking... Like he changed, like he changed the game. Like he's a game changer. When he, that man is in there, it's no way to stop this man. It's no way to stop this man. You giving me twenty nine yeah. points a game, thirteen rebounds, 
and whatever when you when you finally get court vision and you put a whole jumper together like you don't even have a complete package bro you are getting to the rim with two steps from the three point line bro he's completely coming to his game yeah and they and he's completely yo did you see how he showed up like he he blocked he blocked Kevin Durant shot yeah smack KD oh my goodness and KD and him are the same height so the way you're doing the way you he's t- taking strong. Care, Bro, he the way he put the way he what he did to his body over the past three years, bro. Like if the if the I feel like if Milwaukee does not it's put a put a put a core around this man, or they do not put some type of like mind frame, whatever, and still some type of personality in this dude, they gonna lose out in the gym. They will lose out. In the nah, gym. they not losing him. They get they not losing him. They gotta lock him up right now. It's over. He's staying there. <laughs> I mean, he if he's smart and he sees what's happening in That's Milwaukee. His team. It's his team, but he can go anywhere and have his team. He he got the Brown. That, that is true. He has, he, he, he has the Brown factor. He has the Brown. He that's one person that has the LeBron effect. Him and like Anthony Davis, them two people that got the LeBron effect anywhere they go. See, see I, I mean, I, but I, I, I can't. I, 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 I um, all right. See, I'm, I'm I'm gonna say this. I I like where you're going with that, but mm-hmm. I mean, just wait on my man. What, what's, what's that kid name out of Duke? Zion. Oh, Zion Williamson. Yeah, he he's a uh, that bro, boy. He's, he's he's different. He's bro. he's different. He's nineteen. He's different. <laughs> But all the non-violators, I'm, man, listen. I'm still stuck on Jason Tatum. I want to give a shout-out to my man. Tatum. Okay, o- over, def- Definitely overshadowing uh, <laughs> Co- Co- Kobe, 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 Kobe was crazy. like, yo, why we ain't draft this kid? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but all the non-violators, man, thanks for sticking with us this whole time. We appreciate it. Continue to like the videos, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Hit us in them DMs. Let us know your suggestions with anything you got, things you want us to talk about. Let us know. Don't forget to tap that bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. I got anything I want to add? Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Follow everybody. Like, I ain't getting, I'm not getting no followers off my uh, Instagram from nobody. So if y'all watching this, just go follow me. Follow my squad. Follow my people. You've been missing like the last month. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) On the gram? Showtime, showtime violators. We got it at all just times. Just follow, follow the squad. Just do what you do. Follow, make us, make us, man. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We need y'all, man. Anything you want to say to the people? Um, go Patriots. <laughs> they got blue out. <laughs> it's funny you say that. Go Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go Bills. And hey, you already know, man. I'm Super Saiyan Jaffe. Cool guy, JD. Mom. We violators, we out.